Welcome back everyone. So we're doing a review on the Spider-Way Chronicle episode 6. We're almost done. Two more episodes to go. Hey, hey. Mm. Okay, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I apologize for the uptick time. But anyways, so let's get back into the review. Alright, so yeah. So here we see... Um, Jared in the hospital with Emiko because Emiko is still in coma and Simon comes in to talk to him and Jared is not having it. Jared is really upset because he feels his brother has betrayed him because he has moved into Dr. Brer's house and is staying with, the, with them. Like the ogre and a fetch. He's trying to understand that you know what these people are capable of and what they are actually here for but yet you are still trying to help them. He's trying to make him understand that no, that's not what he's doing. He's trying to get information. But Jared is not having any of it because he's still reeling from catching his mom kissing the ogre right in front of their doorstep. Like, who wouldn't? Like, I know what he is. I'm telling you what he is. And nobody believes me. So everybody thinks I'm crazy when I'm trying to explain to you that this person is not who he says he is. So we see that happening. He walks away. Then we see... um Mallory talking to Valentina and Brie telling them that she wants to be part of what they are doing because she feels that it's something that she should be doing then Valentina because of what she did the last episode where she won a point that Valentina said she's going to tell her everything so Valentina tells her what happened back back in the days when she tried to kill the ogre because her, her great aunt asked her to do and she's like what she now says yes that because of the love she had for lucinda that she said to go out and try and kill the ogre but it did not go as planned so she doesn't have hands and she has lost some parts of her that she can't use anymore and for someone to defeat the ogre it has to be a full human being not mixture of human and mystical so she tells them about the sword how she needs to get it that that's the only way to kill the ogre and restore balance to everything so she goes like okay she's going to try and do that and all of that then we see her come back home running home to speak to jared to help her jared is like uh-uh each time i need your help i don't see you and now all of a sudden you need my help that is not having even tried to test to see if she's the, um a ship shifter or calliope like uh, -uh. his sister cannot be asking for a favor from him that that doesn't that that has never happened so in his own mind he's skeptical like uh uh but after finding out it's actually his sister but he still did not want to help out so she goes like no she has to find the sword to defeat the ogre that she actually believes him that is real that the ogre is real and there are mystical things that she just found out so as he was talking to her he felt a hand on his shoulder and he was there talking to lucinda lucinda was giving him tips on wh where to go to next to find clues and all of that so in the midst of all that information being said he comes back to the present and he says okay he's going to help her but on the premise that she follows his every word i know <laughs> but like who wouldn't take this to to the bank and go have on it but jared is just too extra too too extra but anyway Trace, she agrees to you know what i head to all his rules and regulations like okay whatever let's go but they put Temple Tack in charge of the house because um, the ogre is actually looking for the page on the dragons. So they needed someone to put an eye on the page while they go to the goblin market. So you see them going to the goblin market and next thing you see Brie appearing as well. Brie's like, uh-uh, this part of our own journey, she has to be there as well. So they meet up, they search around looking for clues to where... The goblin market is or who can take them to goblin market i remember lucinda left a wooden um like say wooden circle would act like a glass that you can see what is there but in reality it's not there all right yeah you get what i mean right 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 <laughs> so yeah so that's what happened so he does that and he finds the goblin that can help them out so Everybody gets to the meat market and everybody's wondering like, rah, this guy looks like a serial killer and not to be trusted. But Jerry is like, you know what is my plan? You're either with it or you're out. So he says, okay, everybody should get a loaf of bread that will come in handy once they cross over the threshold. All right. So once they cross over, he says, the reason why he asked them to bring the bread is because he needs to do a Hansel and Gretel style right now. Because if 
they don't put a clue on the floor that they might be lost in the enchanted forest forever ever ever <laughs> i know i'm so much but anyway so yeah so they put breadcrumbs and they get to the goblin market trying to do it do everything but on their way he sees jared says and aunt lucinda sorry he sees lucinda and he's wondering hmm what's she doing here but anyway then he gets a phone call from simon simon is asking okay where are you kind of thing that all of that so he suspects simon but he's like you know what i'm trying to find a clue to one of the pages whatever so he says okay once he gets back he will speak to him they now ask him a question that oh he's so is it with someone they describe what the creature looked like he said it's an ang that is a trickster you should be careful about them and they have good earrings as well so he says okay no problem he cuts the call then you see simon turning to kala like, okay let them go to the house that um jared is in there at the moment i know like such a backstabber backstabber but anyway so they're still back on their quest so they go to the goblin markets they finally get there the goblin they tell the goblin what they want the goblin comes out with the sword and a drink it's like they didn't order for the drink now ask okay how much is everything and the goblin is trading on teeth yeah go figure so it says it's a thousand something something teeth for him to release everybody there, huh okay but is there any other way since they don't have that amount of teeth is there any way they can walk to get it it goes like yes they have to play a game they're like okay then it goes like it's rock paper scissors everyone like ha 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 it's so funny something they can win okay so jared tries he's winning then all of a sudden the goblin flips up on him and wins jared, jared is owing him certain money so he takes a collateral one of his tooth one of his teeth a tooth out of his mouth anyways so we see that happening he tries to trick them takes tricks everyone and gets more tea they're supposed to get then he, Jared remembers that okay Simon says then ever like Simon do you still trust him say but he's good with these things he reads up and does research so they try to do that to the ogre they trick him back and they take the sword and they run the, the sorry the goblin the goblin pursues them but they have to change the tracks of the breadcrumbs and escape and now the goblin is trapped yeah you snooze you lose <laughs> Then we see Simon at the house with Kalaipi, but before um, Jared left, Jared sprinkled um, metal on things, So, but they didn't know. So once they got in, they were searching for things, and they found sketches of Simon as a creature. So Kalaipi is still trying to put seed, like, see, what you, see how your brother looks at you and everything. Then she noticed that, okay, she can't breathe, and realized that, okay, metal was sprayed around, so she has to leave the house. While she's leaving, Timbutak appears on the t dressing table and is like, Oh, Simon. Oh, Simon. Did they betray you? Anyways, because he betrays, he's betraying him because they thought they could trust Simon and Simon is showing his true color. But anyways, we see in the courthouse where Helen and um, Dr. Burr go to, because they are fighting for the hospital to be closed. Tana is gunning for it. So they have a conversation and Tana is still pushing his lock and what does the ogre do the ogre peels his his tongue his nail and puts it in his drink and they see them go to the restroom after the quarters and se session is in is on a break and next thing you know he has fungus growing out of his mouth then turns him into a zombie where Margaret can control so he controls him to go back and cancel whatever nonsense he's doing in court. And there you have it. Then, then you see... Um, okay, so now they get back home and Jared just flips his switch and is trying to understand what's going on. Because when he opened the, the, the case or the sword, he sees that it's not what he thought it was. He thought people were trying to scam him and all of that. And... He goes ape shit just at the right time. Uh, Margaret and his mom appears and sees him going ballistic, and Margaret goes like, "They need to admit him immediately." So yeah, so just at the at just at the right time, Margaret and Helen appear and see him going ballistic, and he starts to cry and he's saying, "Mommy, believe me, believe me," and Helen looks at 
Dr. Bra, and he says, mm -mm, which means he needs to be admitted. So we see them strapping him to the bed and everything. He's still trying to plead with his mom, but Margaret is like, you know what, just leave him. He's okay, we'll work on it and everything. And Margaret is mocking him and all of that. So they leave the room and Lucinda appears, all right, and tells him, and tells him that he should just relax, everything will be okay. And that's where we see the end of episode six. And see, sometimes we actually do need to listen to kids because it might sound funny or whatever. Sometimes we should actually give them benefit of a doubt sometimes. Because watching this thing and imagine the kind of extra trauma he's going through, first of all, not trusting his own self because he has bad or evil thoughts in his head nobody can understand him people think he's crazy he's on meds I understand that yes sometimes you can do that but still let's leave a little door for all of that but any retreats so that what happens for episode six so if you want to know more stick with me as we find out more tomorrow on episode seven all right like i said we're almost done and we're building our community one block at a time all right don't forget to subscribe share comment please comment because i keep saying this i cannot be the only one enjoying this fantasy adventure all right so drop your thoughts and let's have more information or more conversations so we can keep growing our community all right bye